Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have a question on the board there. The magnitude of the force vector F is 1 fourth newtons. So let me go, be collecting data given F is equal to 1 fourth newtons. Uh, the x component of this vector which is Fx is directed along the positive x-axis and has a magnitude of 70 newtons. So you are told that Fx which is going to the positive direction is given by 70 newtons uh, they went on and say the y component which is fy points along the positive y direction again so you are expecting to have your fy that we do not know but it said to to point the y axis find the direction of f relative to the x axis as well as fy so if we are to represent this on a diagram you can agree with me that uh, if you have a cartesian plane like this where this side is going to be your fx and this side is going to be your fy why am i choosing my coordinates like this it's because i'm told that uh, fx is directed towards positive x-axis which is this direction and then Fy is directed uh, along the positive y-axis, which is like this. So uh, here you do not know the angle, you do not know what, but what you know is that F is equal to 140. So I'm just going to assume that my F, let me use a different uh, ink so that it looks uh, a little bit uh, presentable, okay? So I'm going to assume that my F, uh, my F, which is equal to uh, 140 newtons, is this one. Hopefully it's going to be visible. Yeah. So uh, given a situation like this, if you are to resolve, you will find then that you will have uh, what we call a horizontal component as well as a vertical component like this and an angle which we can call theta so if you had to express this theta with respect to f on this side this side here you have f sine theta and this side will have f cos theta like this Hopefully, uh, everyone is still following. So now, uh, we have all this, but there is one thing that we have in common. What is that? It's this side. This side is given already because they told us on the question that Fx is directed along the positive x-axis and has a magnitude of 70 newtons so what that means is that uh, f cos theta is equal to 70 newtons like this that's what they mean that's what they mean f cos theta is equal to 70 newtons this line right here okay so from this now you can be able to make um, theta subject of the formula. So if I'm to do that, uh, I will have to say cos theta is equal to, I divide both sides by F, is equal to 70 divided by F, as you can see there, where F is equal to, F it's given most, we know it's 140 newtons. So I will have cos theta is equal to 70 divided by 140, which is equal to uh, half. So my theta now is going to be equal to cos inverse half, which will give me what? You, if you punch on your calculator, then you'll be able to get uh, your angle theta. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is your answer for part uh, one, 
Why? Because part one is looking for the direction of F, which is the theta or the angle with respect to the x-axis. So it's going to be uh, whatever that you are going to get after you punch uh, this. And that's, that's what is going to be your answer, okay, for part one. Now, uh, for part two, which says find Fy. Fy. Okay, let's erase uh, what we have here so that we can be able to, to look for Fy. But again, we can use this small space here before we erase anything. For you now to be able to look for Fy, you need to take this component right here because this component is the one that is representing Fy. Remember this one, it's representing Fx and this y is representing Fy. So you have F sine theta being equal to your Fy. This is what you have. So you have theta now, you have F. So it's going to be your F, it's what? 140. So it's going to be 140 sine. In place of theta, you're going to put the angle that you would have gotten here after you have punched cos inverse of half. This is going to be your angle. And whatever that you're going to get here, it's going to be your Fy. And then you will be done with your question. So once you punch, um, the moment you punch this on your calculator, then there and there you will be able to get your final answer. Okay. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know if you have any questions.